Hey guys, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I have got quite an assortment here to share with you today. Some favorites and some new things. This is something that I got when I went to the beauty supply place. I was picking up something for my dad that he likes, a shampoo and body wash. And I love this lotion, but the scents are strong on this. So when I was in there, I saw this fragrance free version. So I grabbed it and I have been loving mixing it with my scented body lotions all of these. So I was thinking this morning as I was reapplying, I usually put on lotion after I get out of the shower and then I'll put it on again the next morning. I used this, which is the Bobbi Brown Beach. And I will tell you this, Le Labo Santal 33. If you wear that, people will ask you what you're wearing. One of the girls in Bath and Body Works, can you believe she could smell anything else smelled this on me one day. That's how strong it is. And I think I just had it on my legs. So I was thinking there's probably a lot of you out there that have scents like this. Bronze Goddess is another one that they're almost too much on their own. Or maybe you're thinking, oh, I don't want to, you know, you're kind of saving them for special occasions or something. The best thing to do is to mix it with a good quality lotion, like an unscented one. And I just like that this is a pump and I really think this is a good quality, free of artificial fragrance and dyes. So I just thought I would share that tip with you because I am sure that there are more of you out there that can't take the full strength of your fragranced body lotions. So if I do like two pumps to one, that's usually what I do at night. And then during the day, I might even do just equal parts, one and one, and get a little bit more of the fragrance, but loving this combo. I don't know what just made me remember this, but a lot of you asked me about my necklace that I was wearing the other day when I did the Laura Geller post on Instagram and actually that t-shirt, I don't have it here because it's in the wash, but that is something that I got this week. It's from H&M, that Miami, I think it is. And I just loved the color, but the necklace was from J. Crew, and it was old. It was one of those that I got years ago when they used to put everything on sale. And I literally found it in a box because, you know, we've moved a couple of times here in the last couple of years and I took the tags off of it and wore it. But I wanted to tell you that is always a good place to look for jewelry is J. Crew, And I believe they're running a 25% off sale. And when I was on their website, I saw this really cool necklace with like a bird on it. I'll put the picture in here. I thought that was really cool. So there goes that. Okay, shampoo and conditioner. Don't look at my hair today because there's so many little things I want to do in the day, like walk. I'm still walking every day. I'm gonna do a video on that. Then I want to sit on the porch for a while. I like to take my walk before dinner and before the shower. You know how you like have all these things you want to do and there's certain times. So last night I, took a shower before I ate, then I dried it, and then I put all the clips in it, and I sat on the front porch. And when I came in, it was like Bozo the Clown. Like all the clips were still there, but all the other hair had gone boof. And then after I slept on it, it went boof even more. And so I just ran a big old curling iron through it this morning just to kind of smooth it out some. But all of this to say, I have been using this new shampoo and conditioner for the last week, I guess. I picked it up that same day I went to the beauty supply. It's their newest one. It's the Amica Mirror Ball High Shine Plus Protect Antioxidant Shampoo, the shampoo and conditioner. And the girl said that they could not keep it in stock, that everyone loved it. And so far, so good. I don't know if it's, you know, my Colleen Rothschild is my gold standard. And then I also love some Redken ones, like the blonde one and everything but this has been good so far. So if you are already an Amica lover and you haven't tried this, I think you would like it. It smells really good. I feel like it leaves a good amount of conditioner in my hair and I've really, I've liked it. Okay, so let's go on to Rachel, the beauty professor. I got her new kit in the mail from Girlactic. She has done a collaboration Ready in Seven kit, and I will put her video where she does a complete demo of this kit. It's so good, you guys. She is one of the sweetest, 
prettiest girls to me. And I also love Galit, who is the owner of Galactic. So if you support them, you're supporting two really good women and their business. So let me show you what is in that kit. I wore it yesterday. I was finishing up my tutorial that I will put up here. It was my everyday makeup. I was finishing up that video. I really did the tutorial the day before, but I was headed out to do a few things and I copied and went right with her on her makeup look. So I used the glossy lip liner in Delilah. Oh my gosh, so many of you would love this. And then it's a really good long wear gel eyeliner in black. And then it is the blush in Florence Duo. So it's a good peachy, pinky, type blush and then it comes with two of the face powders and they sent me neutral and deep so i tried to use this and i did as my overall makeup so this is the neutral and this is the deep so i tried to use this like she did where it was all that i used i used like a kabuki brush and this is just a little bit too light for me and because I live in a very humid climate, it got a little too glowy for me, as do most all of any illuminating, brightening, any type of powders or foundation. So today I just used this one on the tops of my cheeks and it gave me just that little bit of glow. And then you can use this one as a bronzer. And like yesterday I did what she did, I used it as a bronzer and as an eyeshadow. So love these. And then six would be the Galactic. This is the Innocence Liquid Lip. I think this is how Galactic first came on the scene was with the liquid lips. That's what I remember. I have been wearing Galactic products for, I know probably five years. I like supporting small businesses. And then this I forgot to use yesterday. It's the Glow On The Go. I'm gonna put this in my corners right now so we can see it. Oh, I love that. That makes a big difference. Okay, so thank you so much to Galactic and Rachel for including me. I am in good company and I appreciate it. Okay, so now, oh my gosh, I got so much good stuff here. Let's just go, let's hop all around. Let's not stick with one thing. This is something, I tell you, Instagram. For me not to be a big Instagrammer, they get me. These. <laughs> And I don't know if I will end up liking them, but they advertised them. They got me with the Barbie. The Barbie got me. And they are, I don't know if it's like a collection with Reef, which Reef is well known around where I live. You know, Reef, Rainbow, Lightning Bolt, OP. Those are all the brands that I grew up wearing. And they had these advertised and I ordered them. So they are your classic kind of Teva sandals but you cannot beat that pink. It is just beautiful. You know what this would look so good with is if you have any like army green or camo pants, I think this is just perfect to put with that. But I also think these would look good with like your white marine jeans from Zara or white cargos and a white t-shirt. I would let this be your pop of color and your, you know, like statement piece. I tried them on and oh my gosh, like these are the kind of sandals you can wear to Disney World or wear shopping all day or wear to Italy. I'm trying to think of all these places you guys go where you have to walk a lot. I typically don't have to walk a lot unless I go out of town just because I live outside of the city. So I drive everywhere I go. There's not many places that I walk from place to place, but I know when I go out of town, to do most anything, I have to wear shoes I can walk a lot in, or even airport. So these I just thought were so pretty, and I am gonna give them a try. If I don't like them, I will give them to someone that will appreciate them, but I just love this pink color. I think it is gorgeous, and these are happy. Like, I'm not gonna say these are like your sexiest shoes, but I do think that they're happy, feminine, for this look and that's what i try to do now back to makeup i went to ulta yesterday the one that is across town because they had the mac palette in that i've been wanting and my friend sherry texted me and held it for me so i took advantage of her help and she helped me pick out two more of the lancome tint idol ultra wear and this has spf 25. now i have been wearing 
I think 335W. When I list this down below, I will list my shades that I was using and then I'll list these because I like to mix a neutral and a warm. I just do a pump of each on my beauty blender and it just ends up being perfect, but it was too light for me now that it's, you know, summertime. So I went up to 350N and 340W and that's what I have on today and it was perfect perfect. Matter of fact, when I put it on, I thought, gosh, how was I wearing the other one? So if you're like me and you are a shade sister and you want to try one of these, I think both of these I could make work on their own, but when you mix them, it's just perfect. Okay. So speaking of that MAC palette, this palette, you guys, it is so good. First of all, look at that huge mirror. I don't want to blind you. Let's see. I know there was like three really killer shadows in here. Wedge, satin taupe, uninterrupting. Three that I already have in my drawer, but you know I love to have them in a palette. And then all of these to go with it. I mean, look at that palette. It is just gorgeous, amazing. I cannot wait to use this more. I have loved that burgundy palette, even though it's not burgundy. You guys know which one I'm talking about. And I have loved that so much. I think I've worn it most every day that has the hoe and everything else in it. This is just gorgeous. Now it is more of a cool tone palette, which is probably why I like it, but uninterrupted is very warm tone. It's kind of like a camel color, very similar to Bobbi Brown camel, or what is another? Oh, the Natasha Denona camel palette, I think. I'm sorry, I'm getting them all mixed up. But you guys know the tone where it's more of that khaki, yellowy, warm undertone, more than orange, and just a beautiful palette. So this would be a really good one to pick up. This I just got yesterday in PR from Physicians Formula, and it is, let's see, get ready to lift off into summer. It's their Butter Bronzer Contour Palettes, the Butter Strawberry Jam Blush, which I already know that I like, and the Butter Brazilian Brow Lift Brow Gel. Okay, so we know that I like this. I've already tried it once. Those little strawberries will wear off and it becomes just a nice candy pink matte blush. I have this upstairs, so I will probably give this to someone. And then they sent two contour palettes. One is the contour one and one is contour two. So like I said, I just got these yesterday, so I haven't tried them, but I did try the Butter Brazilian Brow Lift Gel and it's not my favorite. Now, if you have thicker, unruly brows and you find that most brow gels don't have enough stuff on them, then you might like this. But for me, it was a little too much stuff just because my brows aren't that thick. It's kind of like the brow hairs are kind of long, but they're not that thick. So this wasn't my favorite, but you guys know how I feel about the Butter Bronzer and I love their concealer. So you can't, you can't love them all. So this was a no, but I'm looking forward to trying the contour palette. It looks a little dark, even the shade one. Oh, but it smells so good though but I'm gonna try it. If anything, that would make a good eye. I always love contour palettes for my eyeshadow because I like cool tones. And that's basically what I'm doing when I do my eyeshadow is I'm contouring my surrounding eye. So that might happen. Maybe when I do my next makeup tutorial, we'll use that. Okay, so now let's get into some H&M. I placed an H&M order and I've had two duds and then the rest I liked. I wanted to call your attention to H&M Home. I don't know if you guys have ever really looked on the H&M Home, but they have some good stuff sometimes like vases and little blankets and things like that. I have gotten quite a few things that I liked there. Towels, I think some of my favorite towels I've ever gotten. Years ago, I got Brooke a light pink one with a kitten on it and it had a loop on the back so she could hang it on her hook on the door. And we used that thing till it was worn out. So I got a soap dish, which you would think, big deal, but I am funny about my soap dishes. The last one I got at Zara didn't drain. And to me, that's part of a soap dish. 
Well, I don't know, maybe if you're using it on the counter, it isn't that big of a deal, but I like a soap dish in my shower and I like one separately for John and then one for my soap. And so I've been having to turn the Zara one upside down so that it would drain. So I grabbed this one and I just love the simplicity and I just think it's perfect. And it was, I don't know if it tells me the price. It doesn't, but I'll list everything below. And then these were just kind of vibey. You can see why I liked them. It's not tigers. I would say like jaguars or something and palm trees and stars. Three of my favorite things. And then candles, they look like that too. I just thought they were cool looking and they would look good on, so this one is Sichuan Fig. It smells good. It's not sweet. It's not gourmand. It's kind of like a sweeter boyfriend smell. Is this the same thing? No, this one is amber myrrh. They look a little different. Oh my gosh. This one is so good. Of course, I haven't burnt them yet, but I will. I wanted to show them to you first. I kind of like little candles. I like them more for some reason because that way you can switch it up and they just, I don't know, I like having little ones in my bathroom. So I've been loving that. I really love the boy smells and the Le Labo. Those are really good. Okay, so I'm gonna stand up and show you my first dud from H&M. And it's very disappointing because I love the color, but it's a romper and it crisscrosses in the back. But I can already tell you, by the time it goes over boobs and tummy, it is going to be just too short for me, too small. I probably should have gotten the medium. It's just gonna to be too short for me because I'm long-waisted and I'm kind of in between, I'm a four or a six, which ends up being a small or a medium. And I love it, but, and it's cottony, so I know it would shrink. So anyway, I'm gonna return this one. And then these, this is so funny. John was right there when I was unpacking the box and I pulled these out and he said, oh no, uh-uh, return them. Those need to go back. He just did not like them immediately. And I really didn't either, it was a gamble. I just liked the fact that they looked like a Mary Jane. And I just thought, you know, with the right outfit, they would look cute. So they were sitting here on the table yesterday to show you guys and Brooke said, what made you order those? <laughs> And I was thinking she would like them. So these are going back, but I think they're that bad. They're just not that good. And then let's go ahead and do my outfit that I have on. This is a fabulous, let me take this off so you can see it. Fabulous jacket that I just got from Zara. I'm gonna show you all of my Zara stuff because I don't have enough to do a whole video, but this was kind of a gamble because it's not my typical style. But so you could wear it undone, which I think is a really cool way to wear it if you want or you can, or wear it over just a cami or something like that. I'm not typically drawn to just like army green, but sometimes I do like that look and I thought this was really my style with the stitching. See how it has the pink and the chartreuse. It's just like a feminine version of like an army jacket. I mean look how pretty it is all the way around. So pretty. And then these are the same pants that I showed you last week in the they have them in three colors, I think. The color I had before, I don't know the exact name, but it was kind of like an off-white color. These are the black. I knew as soon as I tried those on, I needed the black ones. I love the button at the cuff. They're just comfortable. They are just everything. You know, they're like a good pair of pants. Now, I don't know if you remember the white shirt like this. I picked up the pink version. I will say, you know, this, the small would not even zip on me. So I got the medium and it is still tight across the boobs. Keep that in mind because that's the problem that I run into when you mess with mother nature. <laughs> I am a small person across the ribs, but when I added the boobs, it kind of, you know, set my measurements off and I'm still going, I've already cut the tags and everything off because I love it so much, but I think it's going to look really good under blazers and I love the sweet pink color. So this is good. Say you have a little bit more smaller boobs, it's going to look even better. And then this little top, I actually was going to wear for the video, but when I tried on the jacket, I just love the jacket so much and I know it's a little bit more unique to me than wearing all black, so I decided to go with this. But this is a really good little cropped crochet looking top. And what makes it so valuable is that the crochet is kind of, it's close enough together where it isn't too revealing and it's 
not like cut out the back, anything hokey or anything. And it's the perfect, perfect cropped length. You will see that in the footage where I tried it on. And then when I placed my H&M order, I think this is the whole reason I went to the H&M site is because I wanted some more little graphic tees to cut up. <laughs> I've already cut up the Miami one that I got, but I like these, you know, as a layering piece. And a lot of times if you have like pants like this that are more formal looking, it's good to put on just kind of like a cut up t-shirt with a big oversized cardigan. And then you can go with some heels or you can go with some dad sandals or some ankle boots. And it just gives you that little piece of uniqueness in there. If you don't want to cut it, that's fine. But when you cut it, it makes it your own and it gives it a different fit a different vibe. It makes you look stylish because it makes you look like you took the time to do something. You know, I don't know. It's hard to explain. So I grabbed this one. kind of just wanted the simple ones to go with different outfits. And I do have a t-shirt cutting video that I will link up here. My third one of these sweatshirts from Anthropology. The best, just the best 99.9% .9 of you will love these. I feel that secure about it. The black one is the first one I got and the gray one is the second. I have worn the gray one the most. I love it. It is just your everyday go with everything. When you don't know what to put on, throw it on with anything kind of sweatshirt. You could put this sweatshirt on with these pants and put some like cool jewelry on. I don't know, you don't have to do rhinestones, but just a big chunky necklace and some little black sandals and you've got a really cool outfit because this sweatshirt is very, very flattering. There's just something about the cut of it, the length and the thickness or the thinness of it that makes it really, really pretty. And then I took a chance, took a gamble and ordered this from Zara. I kept on seeing it and I decided to go for it. I need to just go ahead and order one of those Fendi sequin baguettes. I always have that on my mind, but I've always missed my coach spotlight bags. And this kind of reminded me of it. It is very, very netty, if that tells you anything. Like it's very thin, the handles are nice, it's not quite what I wanted, so I probably will return this, but talk about a statement piece. Like if you're going to a party or you're going out of town, it is beautiful. This would look so good with just your simplest dress. Like if you have a simple white dress or simple black dress, just to have this with you is a statement piece. This is one of those things, style instantly. And then last from Zara are these beautiful little sandals. I hope you guys can see how pretty these are. Just with the rhinestones, I was trying to find, you know, something really pretty like I've been getting in more of the designer styles that wasn't quite as pricey. These are just beautiful, you guys. I mean, they really are. Here's where I messed up. I ordered the seven and a half instead of the eight because it just seems like all of these kind of shoes run a little big, but I think it's just because I'm not used to wearing them and it's just the nature of the shoe. So I don't know. You'll have to look at the footage and tell me if they look too small for me. Me. I don't know, but they're really soft and like foamy and silky feeling, but I felt like they weren't staying on my foot very well. So I think it's because I got the half size small. I don't know why I did that. One of those things, but I just think that they are beautiful. Okay, so let's go on to lips. You've probably been thinking, what the heck is wrong with her hair? What lip is that? Because I've been wearing my frosty pink lips. And then this jacket, you've probably been wondering, who is that? I'm stepping out of my box a little bit. Yesterday when I was talking to Sherry at Ulta, we were talking about our daughters. They're similar age. I'm so bad about this. I interrupted her to ask her what her lip was. And it was this one. And she has totally different coloring than I do. She has very, very almost black hair. She's around my age and dark eyes. And it looked great on her. So I do think it's a lip that would look good on anybody. And I know some of you are not into the pinks and the shimmers like I am. So it's some new lip liners and lip sticks from Anastasia. And it's very exciting because I bought all of the old ones and 
I did end up loving. Like Tease is one of my favorite lipsticks ever. Like that's one I have bought backups of. But I never could get along with any of the liners. And I always felt like they were a little too sticky. Kind of like, you know, you were using a stick with a little bit of color on the end. They were just scratchy. I don't know if they have reformulated them, but I noticed when I used this this morning, it was very smooth and a lot more emollient. So this is Muted Mauve. That is my lip liner. And then the lipstick I have on, ooh, I love this, Blush Brown. Now this is a matte lip. Normally I would have just put Buxom Celeste or something right over it but I wanted you to be able to see the true color. I mean, isn't that pretty? So if you like the muted colors and the nudes, it's very, very Velvet Teddy, very Honey Love. All of those colors from MAC that we love that are so 60s, such classic nude lips. That's what this reminds me of. And for this to be a matte, it is very, very smooth. I love it. So I was so excited to get all of these. Let's do the other lip liners. The other one I picked up is Rosewood. I wonder if this is an older one. This one doesn't feel quite as creamy. We'll see. They may vary from one to the other. And then a friend of mine and I were talking about Yolanda Foster or Hadid the other day. And I said, yeah, I remember I used to be obsessed with her makeup. And she wore a NARS lip liner. I think it was called Fantasia or something. It was a light peach and she would wear it with NARS Belle Du Jour. And it would just be this peach lip that was, you know, like if you watched her back in the day on Beverly Hills Housewives. So I saw this lip liner and I want to try to recreate that lip. This one is Baby Roses. Now I know this is an older one, but see how it's light like that. So I'm gonna give it a try with, I think I do have Belle Du Jour, but I'll, I'll even try to find another one. And then Hush Pink is another matte lipstick that was new. And this one is right up my alley. Look at that goodness. I wanted to put this over. Hold on, let me go get my mirror. Okay, well, just kinda wipe the excess of that off. Here I am, I'm back. <laughs> Love it. You know what? I can probably put on something I'm getting ready to show you. So just wait. And then I wanted to, again, if you didn't watch my last video, it was a good one. I loved it. I loved that look. If you didn't watch it, this Chanel Mary Rose. Oh my goodness. Love it. It's definitely only for those of you that like the light pinks and light nudes. But that lip lasted all day. I could not get it off that night. I had to use Colleen Rothschild, the cleansing balm to get it off my lips. That's how long it lasted. So if you like these, what is your favorite color? Because that sucker lasted. Drugstore makeup lovers. If you haven't gotten all of these L'Oreal lipsticks, go get them. The only thing I can say is there is just a slight variation in the shades. So we've already been loving Ballerina Slippers and we've already been loving Peach Fuzz. So I grabbed, I ordered one that one of you told me about, which was, okay, so there's Peach Fuzz. We already know what that looks like. One of you told me to order Rose Tundra and you said it was my color. Well, you weren't lying. I don't think these are in the stores. So that would be an Amazon purchase. Okay, let me go ahead and just do Peach Fuzz. So you see that the Peach Fuzz is still pink, it just doesn't have like that blue tone to it. Must have. Even if you don't like shimmery lipsticks, just buy it to put it over something else. You will love it. Okay, then I got Peony Pink, which is for those of you that want more color. This reminds me of my, oh my gosh, Sparkling Bordeaux by Max Factor. That was my lipstick in my 20s, and I wore it with L'Oreal lip liner, the roll-up one, the mauves and the berries. That was my go-to lip. Look how pretty this is. So that one gives you more color. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. This reminds me of, there are two lip colors that I call man magnets, and anytime I ever wore these lips, I would get some guy come up to me and say something, 
One of them was the Jane Iredell Candied Rose Gloss, and the other one was the It Cosmetics Je ne sais quoi. And what do both of those have in common? They are your natural lip color jazzed up, and that's what this reminds me of. So I will do an experiment with this and see what happens. I'll have to walk through the gro grocery store, Lowe's, Home Improvements. These are the places if you want to test out <laughs> <laughs> so Mad Mag Man Magnet Cosmetics, go to those places. Okay, then I got Tropical Coral. And I had avoided this because I thought it was gonna be too coral for me, but I got it and I'm gonna put it right beside the Peach Fuzz. It's still pink. It just probably has more warmth to it. And then the last one I picked up is Mauve. And I think I had this on mixed with Peach Fuzz, which you know you get the best lip when you mix things up. When I was doing that video, when I wore that Miami shirt, I'm pretty sure I had this one on, the Mauve. It almost has that iridescent mauve to it. There was one that was real popular when I was young. It was L'Oreal Sea Fleur or something like that. I'll never forget going to the grocery store with my daddy in his truck and he bought me that lipstick. And I tried it on on the way home and he liked it. <laughs> But I, you know, you remember things like that. And then when I was checking out at Ulta yesterday, they had some Revlon lipsticks up at the front and I started looking through them and I said, what made you um, pick out these shades? And I don't know if they got me. She said, well, every once in a while we pick up stuff to put here. I said, yeah, but were these shades your best sellers? And she said, yes, but I don't know if that was true or not, but it was gentlemen prefer pink. And I was just curious what this was going to look like because I like Revlon lipsticks too. Here we go again, another good one. And I really think that these lipsticks, the frostier ones are making a comeback, but that is pretty. So when you're out this weekend, these are things you can grab at the grocery store, especially if you live in Texas, I'm jealous of your H-E-B. All of you talk about H-E-B. I don't have a grocery store like that, but you gotta admit that is a handful of goodness in lip swatches. All you can get at Walmart or anywhere else. And then the last thing I was going to show you is this precious little set of travel size makeup from Laura Mercier. They sent me a PR package yesterday, but look at these little babies. So it's the caviar stick in all natural, AU natural, and then a little powder, and then their primers. And then I thought this was cool. They sent these Calpac little bags, which you know, if well, you might not know, if you don't, I'll put my packing video up here. I'm anti-packing cubes. I was there with you guys for a little while and my friend Sheila Fajal, who is a world traveler and wears lots of different clothes, jewelry, makeup, handbags, shoes, she told me how to pack to get the most in your suitcase and then little tips to you know be able to travel because she'll go from place to place to place to place and have to rewear these things. And um, so ever since I started doing that, I haven't, but these are small. I will definitely use these and I love the color. Like that is the ultimate nude color to me. And I think that's it, you guys. I think that's everything. You know I got more than this this week as far as clothes and shoes, but it's for some upcoming videos. I have a probably, I think it's gonna be the best designer dupe video on YouTube. It's so good. I've got so many good things that I've been kind of curating. And then I've got a Revolve try on haul coming up. And then another thing I wanted to just mention is I'm probably not gonna be here quite as often as I have been, which is four times a week. And that is a lot because it really takes about two days to do a video by the time you try everything on and edit and do all the information below and all of that stuff. So I've been you know, really working like every day and it's not that I love to work every day. It's not that, that at all and I'm so blessed to have you here. So it's not that, 
It's just I have something else special that I'm working on and it needs some undivided attention for larger blocks of time. And so I'm going to be going down to two, maybe three videos a week, not four. And I'm not quite sure of the schedule. So just if you haven't subscribed, it's free. Just push that subscribe button below and the notification so you'll be notified when I'm posting a video because it, I might be off of my schedule. And if you want to help me out, you could share my videos with your friends and family. That's one of my greatest compliments. I was telling my mom this yesterday that a lot of you tell me that you watch me with your sisters and your mom and that you all watch me together. And to me, that is a fabulous, fabulous compliment. Thank you. So I will be up to good stuff for you and I will see you, if not this weekend, I'll see you Monday. Bye-bye.